A dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. A dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination and hard work. So we're still on with the panelling mm -hmm. and we're sort of working our sort of method out now, aren't we? Yeah, finding the right way to get it all off or the easiest way to get it all off. Yeah, yeah. Um, because there's, what, probably about three or four different layers of paint? Yeah, yeah. So it's obviously just trying to get them off bit by bit by bit and what's going to be the, the sort of quickest, easiest and best for the panelling. The really, best for the panelling, yeah. I mean, I, I think this process we do now, even though it's, it is taking quite a while, yeah. uh, it is the best way to do it with film now, isn't it? To do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So obviously we had a little trial with some of the paint stripper, which is brilliant. Obviously it's taken like one coat off, isn't it? Yeah. But with it having several coats, obviously it's going to be a long, slow process with that. So. Obviously, we're on with the heat guns. Yeah, we used to be taking it off with the, the heat guns first. Yeah. And then Paula's going round. With the um, bio strip, and that's mm -hmm. just taken all of the, the obviously, the remaining parts of yeah. the paint off, mm -hmm. and it just looks absolutely amazing. It's lovely to see the panelling now. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. To know now what it's going to look, look like, like when it's yeah. finished. It's yeah. so exciting. So we'll show you now because obviously we've got our first piece of panelling that you can actually see <laughs> yeah. to see the, the wood and the grain. And it's even beautiful. though we've got so much wood in here, it's mm -hmm. just so exciting to just yeah. to see <laughs> to it. See it. That. Yeah. yeah, it so looks fantastic. We'll show you now. Yeah.
to show first piece of paneling. Yeah, and the process we've done to get here. Yeah. Um, it's really so we we took the because I think this had about three or four layers, didn't oh, yeah. it? Um, so we took most of them off, and then we've put the the stripper. Um, we painted it on, didn't we, last night? And yeah. then put the cling film on. Yeah. And uh, to see what had happened today. So now Paul is just literally washing it with soap and water and a little wire wire wool, and it's coming off absolutely tremendous. I can't believe how nice it looks. Yeah. I can't believe anybody's painted it. I know. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, it looks fantastic. It's brilliant. Yeah. So the process of sleep for and the reasoning for using the cling film is just to stop the paint stripper um, actually drying out. So it gives it a lot longer time to obviously cure and just to mm -hmm. affect to it, doesn't through, it? Yeah. 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 So. And it, it certainly has this, this. We tried it yesterday just for a short time, didn't we? And it wasn't very good. Yeah. But we, we've left it overnight and. And it's, it's, it's absolutely brilliant, it, yeah. yeah. It's really well. It's still going to be a slow process washing it off, and then we may have to do another layer of stripper Strip. yeah. to get the last bits out. But for now, for this, it's worth well, beautiful. Brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. It's worth it. Yeah. So, obviously, we've got a lot more to go on with, but at least <laughs> we've got our first panel that you can see the beautiful wood back. Yeah. And the idea is. So all of that will be stripped, but then the trim will be gold leafed. So it will just have like obviously a, a mm -hmm. gold border around, which I so, think would be nice. Yeah, I think if these are all relatively the same colour when we get them all stripped, we're just waxing them, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it we'll probably just go finished. go over with the Gilboy's wax. Yeah. So the same as what we did in the tower. Yeah. And we'll just go over and just yeah. give it a nice wax. Yeah. So. And then a little bit of gilding around the, the edges, which is going to look absolutely beautiful. Yeah. It's just nice to see it coming off. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll, I'll get on with some more. We'll crack on now. <laughs> Coats of paint taken off now with the, the burner. Um, so now we're going to try with the, the Authentico Bio Strip uh, to get these last bits off. We obviously need to get it down, back straight to the wood. So I'm going to paint this on and then we have to put cling film on and then we're going to leave it overnight and then hopefully we'll be able to just wash it all off tomorrow with a little bit of wire wool and um, with a bit of luck that'll work. So we'll put it on now. So this basically I just paint this on and um, it is all natural and 
you know, we, we don't need a mask for this because it is all natural. Um, I'm just going to do a thick layer on. And then it's a case of putting some, um, some cling film on and then we'll leave it. I mean, I think it says you can leave it half an hour, but we're going to leave it overnight because we've finished for the day. Yes, we're all tired. I don't, it's not flammable. Um, like I say, it's all natural. Uh, so we should be safe. I'm putting quite a thick layer on it. I suppose we'll learn over time how much you put on after this one. Um, but we, we literally want every bit of paint off so we can wax it. That's the idea. Hopefully it works because it will look tremendous being waxed. So I'll let Paula put that one on while I paint the next one. And she'll just show you how you just work it all on. in the morning with our little bowl of water and wash it off and see how it goes. done yeah it's worked a treat i mean it was a bit uh time consuming let's put it yeah um but once you got the top layer of paint off and then we went on with the authentical it worked really well yeah it does and um, it has it's, it's been brilliant obviously it's it has been a, a long slow process to get it off mm -hmm. but to just see the the wood is just absolutely amazing it is so if we've still got a little bit more to do we've got the last coat of authentical on to, to scrub that off, yeah, yeah, and um, just to get right away back to the wood, and then we'll be able to give it a light sand, and we'll mm -hmm. probably go over it with about one twenty or two forty grit, just.
just to get the, the last bits out of the grain and just to smooth it all off. Mm, just to get it all, like, like you say, all the little marks out and everything else out. Yeah. And then you're going to, are you waxing it then or are you going to stain well, it? Because some of the panels are, are, are slightly different shades, mm. um, I think we might have to look, see if we can um, put a, a light stain on mm. and then go over with the wax. Wax, yeah. But to be honest, the waxes that we've been using for the tower, mm -hmm. we've been using the darker one and the lighter one, they might actually pull it all in Well, together. we did that with the kitchen, <coughs> didn't we? Because some of the kitchen was two different colours. So the, the lighter cupboards, we put the darker stain on and then the dark cupboards, we just done a light one. So it might work. The years are only a couple and yeah. they've obviously been changed over the years. Um, so I think we, we could try that um, yeah. with the I think the, the frames mm -hmm. are in oak yeah. and then the um, actual panels are in pitch pine. Yeah. So mm. it's just going to be a, a way of blending it in together. Yeah. Because then the, the some that are still oak, there's quite a lot and then there's a couple that are pine. So I think oh, maybe it's been damaged or whatever and they've just been changed, changed. over the years. I'm yeah. not quite sure. But it just, it looks absolutely yeah, amazing. Yeah, beautiful. This wasn't my idea to actually do this. I went for the easier option of just painting it white. But I'm so glad that we've, yeah. we've actually done this. I think once, we won't be waxing it until the room's finished. No. Um, we just wanted to get this off because it's quite a messy job before the real work starts. Yeah. Um, it will be getting waxed and everything later on when we're, we're at the point of paint and worn it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We've still got a, a lot to do. We've still yeah. got a gap in the pan and that we need to get sorted out. Yeah. We've got gaps in the coven. Yeah. We've got gaps in the floor and then there's missing pan. And so it's still a, a lot of major things to get sorted mm -hmm. before that. Um, but at least obviously it's the first stage. We've got it off and yeah. we know that it's it's sorted now. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, like I say, it was a messy job. So to get that out of the way um, and unfinished, you know, and then we can just start on. The panel just needs lifting a little. Yeah. Um, you know, there, there's a few issues to sort out, but it shouldn't take too long really, should it? No, 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 they'll be quick jobs. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's brilliant. It's just so exciting to see more of the original wood panel. Yeah, it is, it's lovely. Yeah, it is, it, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. But for now, we'll get these last bits done. Yeah. So we can get all those cleaned off and then We'll see what the next job is. I think mm. the next one in the year we'll have to rummage through our off cuts of panelling. Yeah. To see if we have any for there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we can one. get that corner finished. Yeah. And then we can start the electrics. Yeah, we can start running the electrics. Yeah. And once the electrics are run, it'll be looking at well, we have to take some of the panelling off around the window to get the new window in. Yeah. So it's gonna look a lot worse before it starts it's getting better. better. But that's with everything, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but we could get that off. Mm -hmm. Hopefully in the next couple of months, get the new window in. Once that's in, then we can do all of the, the pretty stuff. We can start looking at fillering mm -hmm. and painting. Painting. Yeah. Should be good. Right. Well, okay. we'll crack on mm -hmm. and we'll see you in the next episode. Okay. Bye. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.